Burns. If someone is burnt, it's really important that you treat them quickly and you take burns seriously. If they have hot liquid spilt on them, if you're able to get the clothes off quickly, then do so. Never remove anything that might have got stuck to a burn. But if you can quickly remove it before the burns have a chance to swell and the skin's had a chance to blister, then it's quite likely you'll be able to remove it. Your priority though is to get the burnt area under cool running water as fast as you possibly can. You would take off jewellery, don't be tempted to roll up a sleeve because if it's covered in hot liquid and you roll it up then you can end up with a burn all the way round which as it swells can end up cutting off the circulation to the arm. So if you're able to cut off clothes or remove clothes completely that is much better and a much better way of doing it. Cool running water for at least 10 minutes. It takes a good 10 minutes to cool a burn. Think about when you have a roast dinner. You take the meat out of the oven, you put it on the side to rest. It takes a good 10 minutes to rest and it's still piping hot. We are meat and we will still be cooking. If the burn is still tingling, then it's still cooking. Keep it under cool running water. That is your treatment. People often rush to dress a burn. Please don't be in a hurry to dress it. Keep it under cool running water for as long as you can. Whilst you are cooling the burn, make sure you're keeping the casualty warm and look out for signs of shock. Shock is made worse when someone's in pain, when they're scared and when they're cold. And all these things are involved in the treatment of a burn. So make sure you're keeping the casualty warm and you're just cooling the burn. Don't touch the burn and wear gloves, sterile gloves if you possibly can, but don't delay getting that burn under cool running water. If you would prefer to dress it, then a burn can be dressed by a bit of loosely wrapped cling film that you would undo a couple of the outside bits and you would put that over the burn once you have cooled it for at least 15 minutes. And don't wrap it round because it will get tighter as the burn swells. So just loosely over. And what that does is it covers the burn to reduce the pain, so it's covering the nerve endings and it's reducing the risk of infection. If you have a proper burn dressing, then that can be used as well. Again, the advice is with burn dressings, if you possibly can, cool the burn properly for at least 10 minutes before you apply this. This is full of a cooling gel and it comes on a, a sort of cover that you can put in that keeps the gel on top of the burn. You will need another dressing on top in order to keep everything in place. And please wear gloves as well because you really don't want to be touching a burn because burns get infected really easily. If you have dressed the burn, you still need to get it seen by a medical professional. Burns can scar, burns can get infected really easily, and it's really important that you take them seriously. Burns to the hands, the face, the feet, the genitals, and the airway are the most serious, as are burns that go all the way around a limb and all burns should be treated under cool running water as quickly as possible.